Kyle Shanahan spoke on Tuesday. And when you, when you're the San Francisco 49ers head coach, you talk about all your quarterbacks in the quarterbacks room now, forevermore, literally. And and don't laugh when he mentions the fourth stringer. All right? <laughs> I'll get it out. Now. Okay? Because once upon a time, the fourth stringer was Jimmy Garoppolo, right? Because they, they had to find a spot in a depth chart for whatever the hell he was at the time last <laughs> summer. Case and then as we are, and as, yeah, right. And as we all know, the fourth stringer played in the NFC Championship game last year. He's Mr. Irrelevant. No, no, the fourth stringer oh, right. came Josh, in for the right, Mr. Right, Irrelevant. Right, right. He was the third stringer, Brock Purdy. Right, right, right. So here was Kyle Shanahan talking about Trey Lance and Sam Darnold and Brock Purdy all sharing a quarterback room. We got two guys who are talented enough to be taken in the top five of the draft, and we have another guy who um, played like it last year. So uh, I like the three guys we got, and I've always been a fan of Brandon Allen, um, just watching him throughout his career, and to be able to get him in here also, I feel real fortunate with our four. Don't laugh when he's talking about I really like Brandon Allen because of any coach that might look at him and say we might have to need, need him. We might need him. <laughs> it's that one. You never know. Now, what did I tell you last week, though? You might have been in Jacksonville at the time, Chris. But to me, the best case scenario for San Francisco is to have Brock Purdy be the guy out of all of them. And I know we're all looking at Sam Darnold like this is finally his opportunity. He's got the spot. He's got the system he's got the coach he's got the stability he never had in new york and clearly not in carolina this is his moment he's gonna he's he's gonna take it and of course you know how i feel about trey lance i thought that was the guy they were gonna take because i believe he's got the biggest upside he's he can be the guy who can run it and run the system he can be the guy if he doesn't give it to mccaffrey you better watch out because he might be coming at you downhill the other guys would be like, oh, okay, you have it? Good enough. I know you're throwing it. And I know Darnold can run it too. But Lance is the one with the bigger upside physically and how he can make the offense diverse. But Purdy is the guy because he's the guy on a seventh round draft choice contract. He's the guy that over the next three years, or one would say two years maybe, you might have to give him a deal in his fourth and final year of his contract, the same way that Hertz just got one right now before his fourth and final year of his contract because they don't have a fifth year of contractual control on him. But that means this year and next, they've got a, a way to beat you, win a championship with a guy making peanuts compared to what a quarterback of any other Super Bowl contender is kind of making. And I think you can hear that in Kyle Shanahan's voice when he talked about week one. We're hoping for week one, and I feel pretty optimistic about that. Um, That's what we're hoping for. He'll be ready to play in week one, and um, usually that doesn't mean that's the day he comes back. Usually you got to come before that to make that goal, and that's kind of the goal we're hoping for, and don't have any reason to think differently. And you know who's starting to throw? It's Purdy. I I truly believe that the way that they are running, and Trey Lance, to his credit, yesterday got up there and said exactly what he said at the Super Bowl. I earn nothing. I will compete for it. I will. I love being here. I want to be nowhere else. But if Purdy starts throwing now and he starts showing up and he can go in training camp and they're looking at him saying, oh, he looks just like the kid last year and he's not sitting there with his arm in, in ice and he does what he needs to do in in training camp, and he does what he needs to do in the first preseason game, then he's your guy, and they're going to go ride with him. And they'll have Darnold and and Lance sitting there as backups unless somebody gets hurt elsewhere in training camp, and then all of a sudden they'll be taking calls again for Lance. That's the guy. That's the guy. Because he's the one with a fifth-year option that's going to be through the roof. And if the Niners want to just send him somewhere else and not have to deal with that and have to make that decision based off of hardly seeing him, let somebody else deal with that. And Purdy's the guy. 
Because he can run it too. I mean, you know, he, he was running in the end zone, but not like Lance. So this is what I'm saying. Purdy is the best answer for the 49ers because he's on a seventh round rookie contract. Yeah, what is he making? Like 600K? Or well, something? I mean, the, he's got to be making the minimum, right? 750? Maybe a little bit more? Do they wet his beak a little bit after <laughs> doing what he did last right. year? A little something for the effort. I don't know. If I'm them, you don't. It's like you're coming off a of surgery. We believe in you. We love you, but. We'll take advantage of what you're making because guess who we have to give it to? Pretty much everybody else on defense. Yeah. He's at 870. <laughs> it's just get out of here. Yeah. Look at what every other contender in the NFC, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, if you want to talk about the Rams, talk about Dallas, talk about the Giants. What are those quarterbacks making? It starts with a four <laughs> or a five with a bunch of zeros after it. So, that's why I pointed Purdy, and that's why I think they're saying week one, let's roll.